You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to a guide to every artifact on the center. With some changes, you'll be surprised. Kicking off with the Devera and the Clever, we're heading to the Snow Cave, the Hard Snow Cave, Northern Ice Cave, as some might call it. Going through to a entrance you might be familiar with, with the ASE version, with creatures to watch out for, big yetis, saber-tooths, wolves, and spiders, all ready to pounce on you at any moment's notice. This place is... Very, very cold, and you're going to need some scuba if you really want to get to any of these locations with two splits, one to the left and one to the right, both of which going through quite narrow, long undersea areas, either of which you can drown, again, if you don't have scuba, and you may die of freezing cold if you're not wrapped up nice and warm using either fur, or maybe even an otter is a big win off to the left. There's a giant room that you'll pass through to another corridor going down a vertical drop that a lot of PvPers like following that round a straight narrow corridor all the way to the end to a giant arena room you'll find your clever artifact ready to obtain. Off to the right path now, rewinding back. We're going to go through another corridor, just noting the way in again. And if you pass through to the surface at the top you'll enter another giant room this one's a bit more straightforward you can see the artifact kind of pretty much from where you enter on a ledge to obtain off to the artifact of the sky lord now another icy snowy area not as hard as the hard north snow this one's a straightforward giant cave room route with again yetis sabers wolves and spiders all waiting to pounce on you as well as a frozen rex in the ice quite an interesting feature there that was in ase and back in asa straightforward up a ramp if you follow this round again wrap up warm get an utter bit of fryer curry could help shutties creatures there's some dirty nasties awaiting you with resources about such as crystal oil metal and flint to obtain but just follow this ramp all the way to a bridge to find the Sky Lord. Onto the artifact of the Hunter now, and this one is on Lava Island now, not so lavery. At the Pearl Cave, which is completely changed, with recommended kits such as Flak, Stimulants, definitely worthwhile because there's lots, lots of things to knock you out, like snakes, scorpions, bats, arthros, and spiders. Following a route to the right from the entrance, following a bridge all the way along to a cave entrance. And it's pretty straightforward if you follow a natural path goes down and straight up across a bridge you'll find your way to the artifact. Onto the pack, which has multiple ways to get, but there is a more straightforward route. If you find this place here, this ruin here, you'll find an opening. This is definitely the most straightforward way to get to it, but there's many, many paths and you simply follow this all the way down one simple direction. You can't really get lost finding your way to another crack through a hole and taking it down a ramp through a crystally area. Take that all the way to a cliff edge and you'll find another set of ruins on a bridge that you've got to hop over to. And as you turn the corner, you'll find the ruins leading you to the jumping puzzle, one of my favorite places on the center where if you really want to, you've got to navigate your way all the way around the very precarious jumps and hops to make your way to the pack at the end of the puzzle. Onto the Devious now. This one is pretty straightforward with two entrances to it. One land entrance, but you still got a fly to get to the land entrance. So if you've got a fly, there is an easier way to get to it right underneath the floated island if you fly through from the bottom through a giant opening that I'm sure is a lot bigger than it was on ASA. You'll find a ramp that takes you all the way up straight forward again follow this path all the way around to the devious awaiting you on the left onto the cunning now the most easy straightforward artifact of all time considering how hard this is on other maps it's simply sort of underneath green up in the ice palace which you can navigate to with any flyer really and just Go behind the Ice Palace and you'll find it there sitting awaiting for you to obtain. The Immune! Many, many ways to enter this one. There's some more straightforward ways than others. This is probably the easiest way to reach it. Find these ruins between Blue Up and the Swamp. A small section of ruins just on this bend right here. Follow it through the entrance where you'll find some water. There's some creatures to worry about if you go 
other routes, but this one, there's barely anything, so this is definitely the best route you want to take. Dive down into the water, and this one, unlike ASE, is really, really hard to spot. Hidden away within the foliage, you've really got to look for this one. Just listen out for it, it makes a buzzing noise. You can't miss it once you're down there, you might want to turn your gamma up. Onto the Massive and the Strong now, both sharing the Lava Cave on the opposite side of the Volcano Island, not so Volcano Island. And it's a bit more hidden, the entrance this time, but a precarious route indeed with a vertical drop that you're gonna need to navigate your way down to. So you're gonna to want to figure out how you're gonna get back up, right? But once day in this giant drop, don't forget it's gonna be extremely hot, so you may wanna be considering things like Gilly to keep you nice and cool. A very interesting new look of a cave indeed, taking you onto a ramp. If you follow it all the way up, you'll find two splits, one to the left and one to the right, taking you to each artifact. The left route, it's pretty straightforward. You can't really alternate on which way you go. Just keep following this bridge all the way down the ramp, watching out for spiders and snakes, etc. As you reach an opening, following that ramp up to a narrow corridor, follow that through all the way to the end and you'll find a drop on the opposite side but your artifact of the strong to the left again hidden behind foliage and trees naughty naughty and the right turn is again it's pretty straightforward it's a ramp around a lava pool taking you under some pretty cool new ruins in fact not they're not new they're just remodeled in asa but they look just more epic bringing you to what looks like a destroyed great grand hall but all you've got to do is follow the ramp down to a giant altar looking area in the middle where sits right on the top the artifact of the massive And the brute that nobody has found, apart from me, I think, hopefully, which is in the sea. It's moved from where it was on ASE. And if you head to this point here, right here, and go straight down in the sea, keep an eye out for these locations. Turning off the fog will definitely help you to navigate your way down. Otherwise, you won't be able to see Jack. Just head all the way down, and you'll find it here, sitting, standing in the middle of nowhere, right near the world edge but one that I know a lot of people have been struggling to find and will complete your artifact hunting locations. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, up. Uh, peace out. Top.